Hey guys, I'm Kerry. In this video, you learn how to write better with commas. <laughs> commas show a brief pause in reading. They are not as final as periods. If we learn how to use commas, our writing skills will improve and people will better understand our writing. Here are the rules. Rule number one. Commas separate words and word groups in a series of three or more items. For example, apple, banana, and pear are nutritious fruits. Oh no! This sentence is not correct because there is an absence of commas. Since there is a series of three items in this sentence, we need to separate them using commas. Correct! Commas separate two or more adjectives when the order of the adjectives is interchangeable. For example, Peaches are delicious, nutritious fruits. The two adjectives in this sentence are delicious and nutritious. Clearly, there is an absence of commas in this sentence. Oh no! To punctuate this sentence, we need to insert one comma between delicious and nutritious. Correct! Rule number three. Use commas to set off non-essential words, clauses, and phrases called appositives. An appositive is a noun or phrase that follows and renames another noun. Here is an example. This pomegranate, native to North Africa and Western Asia, tastes amazing. The non-essential words in this sentence are native to North Africa and Western Asia. Use commas to separate the non-essential words. Correct! Rule number four. Use commas to separate the name, nickname, term of endearment, or title of a person directly addressed from the rest of the sentence. For example, Ishmael, my love, the orange is on the dining table. My love is a term of endearment. To separate this term of endearment from the rest of the sentence, insert two commas. We need to insert a comma before and after my love. Correct! Rule number five. Use commas to separate terms such as namely, that is, i.e., e.g., etc., and for instance, when they are followed by a series of items. For example, for breakfast, she ate various fruits i.e. grapes, raspberries, cherries, and strawberries. To punctuate this sentence, insert commas before and after i.e. Another example. The smoothie was made of several fruits, namely peach, watermelon, banana, strawberry, raspberry, plum, and pineapple. Insert a comma before and after namely. Rule number six. Use commas to separate direct quotations and the speaker. 
For one word quotations, this is optional. For example, bon appetit, the chef said. Insert a comma after the quotation. Another example, the chef said, enjoy. Because the quotation is a one word quotation, you may or may not insert a comma. In cases where two or more sentences are joined by conjunctions such as and, but, or, etc., use a comma before the conjunction that joins the sentences. Watermelon is my favorite fruit, but I also enjoy plum, melon, and pineapple. Insert a comma after fruit to separate the two sentences. Time to get serious. Time to get serious! Let's practice. Fill in the missing commas. Complete the mission. It is raining, but I am still going to the farmer's market. Where do we need to insert a comma? Insert a comma after raining to separate the two sentences. The farmer's market, which is only 15 minutes away, sells the freshest fruits. To make this sentence correct, we need to separate the non-essential words from the rest of the sentence. Insert the first comma after market and the last comma after away. I have lived on the island all my life, so I am confident there isn't a kind of fruit grown on our trees that I haven't tasted. Where should we insert a comma in this sentence? We should insert the comma after life, thereby separating the two sentences. These delicious, nutritious fruits are also rich in food value.
Great job guys. Be sure to watch my next video, comma 2. If you enjoyed my video, please like, subscribe and share and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, stay grammarous. Bye bye bye. Yeah. <laughs>